The Washington Times published a report in 2015 regarding Russia's ongoing development of the U-71 hypersonic vehicle, which is also known as Project 4202. It cited the British Jane's Defense Weekly, which indicated that flight tests of this new development were currently ongoing. The U-71 was a hypersonic glide vehicle with a nuclear warhead, which was launched into orbit via an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM. Although Russian official sources provided limited information about this project, it was known to be more than just a warhead. The hypersonic technology vehicle, HTV Initiative, was also implemented in the United States. According to open sources, the HTV, a hypersonic glider, was an engineless air vehicle that was equipped with control surfaces in March 2015. It was propelled to a velocity of Mach 5 to 6 and then glided toward its destination. The vehicle was launched at an altitude of 60 to 70 kilometers by the carrier rocket. The vehicle maintained a comfort zone at altitudes of 40 to 60 kilometers to avoid denser atmospheric layers and thermal stresses, continuing its flight with a moderate descent. It initiated a nearly vertical descent from a height of 40 kilometers just prior to reaching the target. The U.S. had not attained a 100% success rate in its tests. The American HTV-2 vehicle disintegrated as it approached its destination as a result of overloads. Nevertheless, the circumstance with the Russian counterpart was more interesting. Russia had already conducted both successful and unsuccessful launches, according to the same Washington Times report. In addition, the Soviet Union was a pioneer in this field during the 1980s, establishing a theoretical and technical foundation for the new project, which included a functional hypersonic engine. Project 4202 was associated with a unique variant of the UR-100N UTTH missile, which is referred to as the SS-19 Stiletto in NATO terminology, and its civilian counterpart, Rokot, under the designation A-3571, according to Russian sources. The U-71 designation, which was referenced in the American media, was evidently referenced by the number 71. These were test missiles that were repurposed for trials with new modules substituting the nuclear warheads. It was anticipated that the Project 4202 vehicle would be comparable to or larger than the HTV-2 in terms of dimensions. Although its precise dimensions were unavailable, its estimated mass was approximately 2 tons. The launch vehicle's additional 7 meters likely accommodated not only the HGV, but also a booster stage, which served as a third stage. The Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle, which was previously classified as Project 4202, was publicly unveiled by President Vladimir Putin in March 2018 as part of a broader exhibition of new strategic armaments. The Avangard was intended to be launched from ICBMs, specifically the UR-100 UTTKH, RS-26 Rubesh, and RS-28 Sarmat, and was capable of delivering both nuclear and conventional payloads. The operational capabilities of the Avangard were demonstrated during test launches in December 2018, when it effectively targeted a practice target located 6,000 kilometers away. Approximately 14 flight tests of the Avangard were reported between the early 1990s and 2018, the vehicle's operational readiness and specifications for integration with a variety of ICBMs were verified through these tests. A significant milestone in Russia's military modernization efforts was achieved on December 27, 2019, when the system was officially integrated into service. According to reports, the Avangard is capable of eclipsing Mach 20, with some sources indicating that it may be capable of reaching Mach 27, approximately 32,000 kilometers per hour. This surpasses the capabilities of other hypersonic glide vehicles, such as the DFZF from China and the CHGB from the United States. The Avangard's wedge-shaped design enables it to glide at hypersonic speeds without a distinct propulsion system, relying instead on its aerodynamic properties after being boosted to suborbital altitudes of approximately 100 kilometers. It is capable of transporting conventional munitions or nuclear warheads with yields of up to 2 megatons, despite weighing approximately 2,000 kilograms. Its effectiveness against missile defense systems is further enhanced by its operational range of over 6,000 kilometers and its capacity to execute precise maneuvers during its flight path.
Future developments for the Avangard system are anticipated to concentrate on the improvement of its deployment methods and capabilities. Potential improvements in maneuverability and targeting precision, further integration with the RS-28 Sarmat ICBM, and deployment on mobile platforms to increase survivability and flexibility are all potential advancements. Additionally, Russia may invest in countermeasures that are particularly designed to overcome or bypass evolving missile defense technologies and develop conventional variants for precision strikes that do not include nuclear warheads. A Vanguard's production capacity will probably continue to be prioritized to guarantee a credible deterrent against perceived threats, thereby solidifying its position in Russia's defense strategy. Now, do you think Avangard is superior to even future hypersonic gliders being made worldwide? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.